All right, y'all. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Schmovie. We are back with another NBA 2K19 video. In this video today, it was requested by a lot of people that I show you guys the best ways to get tokens in this year's my team mode. And I was like, all right, I'll let you guys know, man. I I'll tell you guys how I got my tokens, what's the best way of getting tokens, and what you guys should use them on, especially for the rewards, man. I would go. I'm gonna go over all the rewards that you should get off the bat as well. So I'm gonna do that at the end, and I'm gonna tell you guys. What is the best way to come across these tokens, the way to stack up these tokens? At first, I wanted to save up just to see what this token market is, but this is probably going to be a marketplace where you can like buy tokens with VC or something. I don't know yet. We'll see. But for now, before they unlock this token market, you guys want to go into these solos, man. Domination, they'll get you all of these tokens, man. Five, I think it's five, eight, ten for each division. So five for the first domination, eight for the fantasy, and thing. I think ten. Or 12 for the all time. I, I kind of forgot. But you get tokens for each division. They're long games, but you get to grind the tokens as well. All the solos and everything you do is basically token based with some MT bonuses per game. So, also, this triple threat mode, you get to go into the solos, you get to go play against the computer. The farther you get, the board seven, you get more tokens. Also, someone told me you get three tokens for completing the schedule challenges. I don't know. I haven't completed it yet, but you also get tokens from completing the schedules. I believe there's also goals that you can complete for tokens. I think we just completed one right now. Hold up. All right. So we got the purchase diamond player. You get the 75 reward tokens. This is not attainable yet. I know it's not, but also these challenges will get you tokens. I believe this one's the easier one to be if you do the domination, triple threat, all the triple threats, the schedules and stuff, you do get the 15 tokens. So I suggest doing this while you're grinding solos, work on this, go back and forth, try to complete the stuff. Now for my team unlimited, if you get the 12 and 0, you do get the Michael Finley and you also get 15 tokens. But if you play, regardless of if you go 12 and 0 or not, you do get 10 from 11 and 10 wins. You also get eight for nine and eight and so on and so forth. So I suggest doing this at the end. The games take a lot unless you can make the guy quit. This is also a great way to get tokens as well. Just a lot of grinding the solos, man. A lot of people didn't know in the beginning, which a lot of people probably do know now, is that if you go to rewards, all these arenas, you do get 10 per conference so if you go through domination you rip the packs you do get these team items if not you can just buy them off the auctions try to stifle them for cheat obviously try to keep looking what i suggest if you want to do take a break which a lot of people are going to take breaks during their solos go to the auctions look at these complete these try to look for cheap stuff if not go back to you know the logos the logos also get you 10 per conference so that's also 20 so that's 40 right off the bat and with the 40 you can move up from the emerald to the sapphire all the way up to the ruby so the rubies right now is basically the base you want to do these arena and logo rewards try to do these cheap right now y'all 15 15 you can get majority of these cards cheap 500 everyone's ripping packs and they're really really common so the only ones that are really kind of expensive are these two obviously because they're rubies and they're also really good cards you get this from the emerald rewards don't forget you got to buy this as an emerald reward to put in a token to lock in the collection same thing goes for the grizzlies you got to get the james posey put them into the collection and lock them in cop all these cards man they're really really cheap it, it doesn't take too much mt to lock this collection in and you get the 15 tokens as well now what i was doing in the beginning was collecting these cheap sets like the bulls they're really really cheap besides the the silvers the silvers are really hard to come by they're not easy to pull which is why they're kind of expensive but if you can come back like i said come back during your solos check if see if there's any cheap go up keep searching keep searching the same card eventually one's gonna pop up during the day buy that card you can either buy it flip it back and or you can lock in these collections i know a lot of people are doing all the cheaper ones to try to get these tokens because it's 20 it's 20 tokens so it's not it's not too crazy not locking in any amethyst i would do all the collections that don't lock in any amethyst this one i wouldn't recommend doing you would want to do the calves their, their, their highest is one sapphire you know what i'm saying so and the bulls they don't have any sapphires they're only emeralds don't do the bucks you can do the sixers but i would do that towards the end you would want to do the hawks like the silvers are kind of expensive but if you can snipe them great same thing goes for the nets pacers towards the end because they do have the oladipo you would want to do the pistons you would want to do the magic and so on and so forth if you guys get it those are 20 tokens man if you can do either five of them that's 100 tokens right off of the bat if you can do 10 that's 200 you know what i'm saying like do these if you can do them for cheap i spent a lot of time in the auctions trying to come across some cheap cars that people are putting up because the auction house is really really slow so people don't want to go in go out 
check the price, go back because the scrolling is so slow, so aids. Take advantage of that, learn how to work the auction house, figure out what's cheap, figure out what's not cheap, what you can do, what sets you can do for cheap, you know what I'm saying? Because that's 20 tokens. 20 tokens is going to be really valuable at the beginning of the year, man. I can't stress that enough. And if you guys haven't by now, you guys should already be doing the collector levels. I would try to at least get up to 250 so you can get the 15 tokens i wouldn't recommend going to the thousand because that's, I, that, that's a lot but i would suggest at least going to the 250 you do get the do get the 13 tokens man so i would take advantage of that that's that's 13 tokens right off the bat and don't forget the and don't forget about the multiplayer challenges this one gives you one token it's pretty quick i made the guy quit um if you can make him quit that's less than you know 10 to 15 minutes of your time to get one token it's worth it i'm saying it, tokens are really hard to come by you want all the tokens that you can get man even if it's one token but i think the best modes for the quickest way to get tokens are the triple threat modes if you're not really in the grinding domination right now and you want the quick tokens want to grind the tokens do triple threat single player and triple threat online but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I believe I covered everything. If I missed anything, please leave it in the comment section below and I will pin it. I will let everybody else know. I could make an extra video of the things I missed, but I'm pretty sure I got most of the things that you should know by now to get these tokens, to grind out these tokens quick. Because since they implemented the token reward system, you guys do want to try to go get those tokens. I personally was going to save up all my tokens, but I wanted to get the cards that I could now as fast as I can so I can use them for online, for single player, for anything. Like I said, if I'm missing anything, leave it in the comment section below and I will be streaming on Twitch. Links in the description below and I will be posting a lot on Twitter as well. So both links are in the description below. Go ahead and shoot me a follow. Follow your boy, support your boy. Thank you guys all for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one. I just wanna put my pride to the side, but it's hard for me. I'm so happy I got God on my side cause he watching